So hi guys, so welcome to onlinetuition.coza and this is Dr. G. So today I just want to look at, very briefly, uh, the naming of organic compounds. So right now the metrics are going through the section and when I look back 30 years ago, I was bamboozled by the naming of these things. There was just so much to remember. So the, the idea here is a very, very simple. Rather than teach you little recipes that just apply to specific problems, what we want to do is to introduce you to a more general concept. And so today I'm going to look at the concept of what I like to call the mother chain. And I think it's an original approach. I call it the mother chain. You'll see why just now. So if you just get the basics of this video, then you should be able to name any organic compound that you are presented with, not just in class, but in the exams, tests, and in everyday life. So let's take a closer look at the mother chain. This is a really simple example over here, and you think, oh my goodness, so many carbon atoms. Well, the trick here is very, very simple, and that is to look at the longest continuous chain of carbon atoms. So what do I mean by continuous? It actually means drawing a straight line through all the carbon atoms without lifting your pen or pencil up into the air. Okay, so let's just have a look at this. And normally you'd start off with a straight chain. So if I go with a straight chain, if I run across, just, just counting, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So that hmm, looks like a hexane. And the reason why I say hexane is all single bonds. Let's go from, say, the top carbon out here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Don't be shy to count from the side chains as well, to include side chains. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So try every possibility and you'd find that the longest possible chain of carbon atoms is made up of six carbon atoms. And I would like to go with a straight chain on this one and say it looks like this. That's what I would call the mother chain. So I would write down somewhere in the side there, not in your answer book, the mother chain is something like a hexane because it consists of six carbon atoms. Now off the mother chain, it's pretty obvious now that you can see there are side chain, chains and what we would call the alkyl groups. And there's one over there, a methyl group. There's a second one here. There's a third one there and the fourth one. So what does the IUPAC rule say? Not Tupac, IUPAC. Tupac, IUPAC. It says number or the mother chain so that these alkyl groups or these side chain take on the lowest possible number. So if I number from left to right, let's have a look very quickly. So this is carbon atom number one. That's carbon atom. That's a crazy color, man. Three, four, five, six. So there we go from left to right. If I go the other way, and that's what you should do as well. Don't be shy. Uh, I'm going to go carbon atom number one, carbon atom number two, three, four, five, six, all on the mother chain. So if I go from left to right, I've got two methyl groups sitting on carbon atom number two, a methyl group sitting on carbon atom number four, and a methyl group sitting on carbon atom number five. If I go from right to left, methyl group on two, methyl group on three, and a double methyl group sitting on carbon number five. And it's the double car methyl group that actually uh, takes precedence over the other methyl groups. So we've got to go from left to right. So that methyl group is sitting on carbon atom number two. And if we get all of that right, then we know that we have a two comma two because we have two methyl groups sitting on carbon atom number two, comma four, there's another methyl group over there, and not forgetting the last one, which is the fourth methyl group sitting on carbon atom number five. And because we have four methyl groups, it should be tetramethyl. How cool is that? Right neatly. Hexane, because the mother chain is hexane. And there we have it. Full marks. Pretty straightforward, don't you think? Ooh, airbag, save me from this monster of uh, a molecule. What's really happening over here? So let's go with the straight chain. Let's 
count across. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Don't be fooled. Don't be shy to count from the side chain. So if I start here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow. So my initial count along the straight chain was seven, but I'm including one of the side chain. I'm getting eight carbon atoms on the mother chain. Similarly with the bottom one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So the longest possible chain here would be consisting of eight carbon atoms, which is the mother chain. Now watch this. I'm going to draw a line without lifting my pen up through those eight carbon atoms, and that becomes the mother chain. All single bonds, eight carbon atoms. So what is mom or the mother chain? It looks like an octane. Okay, so once we got that, use color. This is very, very important. Just as you do in geometry in school, in, 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 in mathematics, use color here. This is really cool. It really helps. And now let's try to identify the side chain. So there's the mother chain that's stripped out in red. And notice straight away we have a methyl group sitting over there. We have an ethyl group sitting over there. And a second ethyl group sitting right there. So how do we name this thing? How do we label it? Okay, so if I have a look here, if I label this guy, one, there's two, there's carbon atom number three, there's four, five, six, seven, Eight. So we know it's an octane. So if I go from, well, not really left to right, but in a way, we would see that on carbon atom number three, I have an ethyl group. There's it at the bottom. On carbon atom number six, I also have another ethyl group. And then I have a methyl group also sitting on carbon atom number three. Now you think about this. If I went the other way around and I numbered, let's get a beautiful red here. That's one. That's two, uh, that's three. Just the mother chain I'm numbering. Four, five, six, there's seven, and there's eight. So why can't we go from right to left? Because from right to left, we have an ethyl group sitting on carbon atom number three. We have a, uh, an ethyl group sitting on carbon number six and a methyl group sitting on carbon. But look at carbon atom number six. This is where it's all happening, you know? So we have a methyl group and an ethyl group. So we got to get that to take the lowest possible number. So instead of labeling this carbon atom number six, let's go with carbon atom number three, according to, let's go gangster on this one. Tupac, are you Pac? Here we go. So the name of this compound, pretty straightforward, no guessing, definitely. And we've got two ethyl groups. So there's one over here and it's mate over there. So this would be diethyl, agreed? Don't forget the methyl group that's sitting very innocently there, dash methyl. And what is mom? Octane. And there you have it. Monstrous looking thing, but sweet, sweet as ever. Straightforward. So you can never go wrong with these. So all I'm saying is, yeah, you can give you the biggest, longest, branched, straight structure. As long as you identify the mother chain, then you can attach all the other groups that you have going on. Your alcohols, your, your esters, your ketones, your carboxylic acids. And you'd always get this right. So, guys, pretty straightforward. If you want more information about alkanols or aldehydes, labeling of the alcohols, labeling of carbon compounds with double bonds, triple bonds, the positioning of these things, check out our website, onlinetuition.coza. There's so much there to be discovered, to be learned. And Please, I think it's very, very important that you understand, don't learn little recipes because they just help you for specific problems. Learn a general method that applies to the subsection, section, or the topic as a whole. All right, so see you on the other side of 10, whatever that means.